Oh. No. So the purpose of this video is to decide whether or not without tools or a meter is it that your battery is going bad or is it that your alternator is going bad and as we all know the alternator basically takes in energy from the motor which of course comes from the gas or however it's using as fuel and then the alternator in turn will do a few things it will charge your battery up um, full time as it's on and it will also run the electrical system to your headlights, your backlights, your radio, your air conditioner, uh, all the lights and electrical parts. So, you know, alternators, average lifespan of an alternator is about 10 years or about 150,000 miles. A battery, on the other hand, usually lasts anywhere from two to three years. I purchased this battery in 2022 so right now it's currently two and a half years old so i'm kind of thinking well this car is 10 years old now is it my battery or is it an alternator and again i want to show you how to do it without tools as you can see it's not starting i do have the ability to jump my car so i'm gonna go ahead and jump it and turn it on charging the bad battery up or alternator and as you can see here i got the donor car on while this car is off, shouldn't have to leave it on too long. And so while this car is running, I'm gonna go ahead and start my car. Everyone do a few tests. Oh. Fingers crossed. All right, so that worked. So I'm leaning towards it's the battery and not the alternator. Cause what's gonna happen is, is um, it would start it would die really quickly after I hear a good charge and it turned over good but unfortunately it's the battery but it's better than an alternator because an alternator is more expensive all right one thing to test your alternator it's called the the dim test the high, the, the 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 front lights and what's going to happen is is I'm going to rev up my engine and what's going to happen is, is when you rev up the engine, that means that you're overworking your alternator and it would, the alternator, the, the, the front headlights are going to actually change uh, degrees in light. So a, a normal uh, alternator that's working perfectly, it's, when I rev up the engine, it's not going to affect uh, the brightness of the headlight. All right, I'm going to go in there and rev up my engine. I'm going to turn on the lights and then when I rev up the engine, if it starts getting brighter than what it already is, that means it might be an issue with the alternator. If the light stays the same, regardless of whether I'm uh, revving or not, then it most likely it was the battery that was the issue. So let's go check. All right, let's take it out on the road. All right, now that we did the dim light test, and that's a pretty good indicator that it's not the alternator, as I'm driving, a couple of uh, warning lights that you want to, to look at is down here. But the two lights that you want to look for is the red battery light, if it's still on, or an ALT. A is an Apple LT. That's basically an uh, abbreviation for alternator. If those two lights are on and you're driving, that is not a good indicator. That does not mean that your battery is bad. Usually that means that your alternator is bad. If, say I'm driving right now and all of a sudden my car stops uh, running, the engine turns off while I'm driving, that's another key indicator that is your alternator that is, is broken. Yes, sometimes a bad battery will make it happen, but normally the alternator has enough uh, health and power to where even if the battery is bad, uh, it'll still continue to run. Your radio, right? Or your air conditioner. If those uh, go on, on and off or they get weak and you'll st see flickering here. Okay, that's basically a problem with the electrical system. You'll see flickering on the dashboard. The dashboard light will start to get very weak and very dim if you've got a light in your dashboard. 
that is a sign of a bad alternator. It's not necessarily a sign of a bad battery. While you're driving, if you turn on your above lights, your, your dashboard lights or your car lights inside, if they're very dim, that's another sign that your alternator is going bad. So with all the physical tests that I've done on my car battery and alternator, I think it's the alternator. Now if we power the car down and then we try to start it back up, yep, see I'm pushing it. That basically means that the battery is not starting and everything indicates that it's the battery that's uh, not working any longer. So I'm going to uh, get my charger out of my trunk, charge it up. I went to the store and got a battery replacement and I got one that will go with my Nissan. Now right now we're in December of 2024 but I got a discount on it because it was a return and they tested the battery out for me there and it showed good and they only charged me um, $59 plus tax. Now the last battery that I got, this one here is a Duralast, but the battery that went dead within three years is a Die Hard. And they told me there at AutoZone that they, that's the reason it's called Die Hard is because they do die hard. So I'll never get another one of those again. All right, so let's go ahead and replace the battery. Also too, with the alternator, if you open up the hood and uh, put your head close to the alternator as it's running, if it makes a whistling sound or it just doesn't sound right um, while it's idle, then you know also too, it might be an indicator that the alternator is bad. All right, thanks so much for watching this video and make sure you subscribe.